There is hardly any place more remote than the vast Yukon River Delta, where millions of salmon pass on their way upriver to spawn. It's Yukon, the monarch of salmon. That's up next on Chefs of Field. Heavy. This is beautiful. Look at the color on this, the pink. You almost got like a little rainbow color going on here. When it comes to Yukon River king salmon from Mnemonic, huh, I have yet to find something that has topped it on my palate to this point in my life. And the opportunity to get to know the people that surround that, the treasure of the universe. OK, cowboy. All the way from where, <laughs> Las Vegas? How many fish does a typical family take out to support themselves through, uh, through the winter? Now we're having to put away about 300 fish to provide for a family of six. It's a lot of pressure on you, right, there, to, there, to uh, there provide for your, for your existence. Exactly. Yes. There you go. That's yes, a nice that's one. That, that's I a knew big we were one. you dragging something. It's huge. It's Hello, a, baby. A 25. This is what we've been looking for. Yeah. Oh, I knew we were dragging one. something. Yeah. yeah, we're dragging we were dragging something. two kings. Some incredible coloration. That's a good fish. I like this one. I want to take a bite out of it. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's a good fish. <laughs> yes, sir. So, pan's hot. Now you'll see that it's got a little smokiness going on. That's good, because I'm going to cool down that pan now by adding this right into it. Push down a little bit, giving the skin a, set, a chance to uh, start to set up. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to re-season it one more time. I'm going to turn the heat down, because I want to cook it slowly, and I want to just baste my fish with butter. What I want to get out of this butter is the brown bits, the pieces that caramelize. Browning butter is what you taste, and that's what really works well with the taste of fish. All the fat and everything that's going to render out of it stays in the pan. This is as good as it gets. This is the best fish in the world, super simply prepared. And when I talk about fat, I'm talking about it in the best possible way. That's the omega-3 fatty acids that drench your body, nourishing you, making you with a healthier heart, stronger immunity system, everything that could possibly come is delivered here in the most delicious possible way and it's sustainable. Look at how that's cooked. Look at the fat and the moisture that comes out of that fit. It's crazy. A little cucumber, a little horseradish. Mm. Oh. I'm standing in my kitchen in Las Vegas, Nevada and in my mind, I'm straight back, hanging out in that little kitchen in, 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 in the Yukon. I'm, my mouth is just so happy right now with all the flavors and everything that's going on. It is the very taste of summer, the full, ripe, delicious, fresh peach. Pull it gently from the tree and take a bite. Or sit down in the Western World Center of Power, Washington, D.C., and pull yourself up to the table. Just a mile or two across town from the capital itself sits Blue Duck Tavern. What you see in this restaurant is you see a lot of true flavors. And the kitchen of Chef Brian McBride. What we wanted to do and create in this restaurant was where we could go out into the field, find the farms and the farmers and the growers that we wanted to work with, see how they raise their product, and then just bring their product and prepare it very simply here at the Blue Duck Tavern. Wow, these look nice. Yeah, these are Red Star. How do you know when they're ripe? We let them hang until they're nice and soft. But peaches, uh, you pick, and then you wait a few days, and then you pick again, you wait a few days. It's, you don't clean the tree off. Mm. That's good, huh? Agave, just one sweet from Mexico, from the state of Jalisco. Organic fair trade honey from Quintana Roo is another. Agave is produced in that heavy ball, the piña. 
The honey, of course, comes from the hives. And a lot of flavors going on here. Chef Richard Sandoval uses both in his modern Mexican cuisine. We like to go to the source, get better quality, more interesting. And I mean, obviously, being Mexican, I mean, I, you know, I want to cook with Mexican ingredients. Está bien así? Sí. <laughs> you almost got it. Ah. There you go. That's it. That's a hard job. ¿Cuánto tarda en cortar todo? Tres minutos. Oh, it looks like it took me about an hour. <laughs> it's hard work. Yeah. <laughs> now to extract the sweetness, the piles of piñas taken away, the heart of the plant cooked low and slow, 160 degrees for a whole day. Only then are the piñas removed from the oven. Crushed and milled, the juice filtered and bottled, nothing added. Purely organic, purely sweet. Wow, see? Dogs are super good. <laughs> Let's just finish it up. Let's grab a little bit of our, the vinaigrette you made with your guajillo, your agave syrup, and your lemon juice. Drizzle it around. Get close to it. Let's go all the way around. Beautiful. And then we can just finish it up. Grab some chives and just you know throw them on there. You know, give it you know, an extra little. There you go. 